Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a look at Superhot. Uh, you may already be familiar with this game, it, it's pre pretty pretty popular, I think. Um, it came out on the Switch pretty recently, I have played it before, but I want to see what they've done with this version, see if it's still good. Um, it's kind of a puzzle first person shooter, sort of? I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to express. Um, but yeah, it's good. Um, it also has a lot of like flashing effects and stuff on the screen. So if you are photosensitive, I would maybe recommend skipping this one just because of the nature of the game itself. Stay safe. Anyway, let's have a look. If you're still here anyway. Well, I am playing with a Joy-Con, but I have it in the Joy-Con grip. This game uses gyroscope motion controls. Toggle them on off with the minus button. Super hot. Super hot. Is it loading? Or... I guess so. Pios brings you to the future. Incoming message. Press A to reply. You playing super hot yet? I've never seen anything like it. Use ZL ZR to type. Okay, so I just press press them like that and it just automatically types out some text. What are you talking about? Superhot.exe. It's a crack. Logs you into this company's site so you can play this game. Sick shooter. Sick how? Too hard to describe. Just play it. I'll send you the files. Hold on. When you run superhot.exe, it should do everything else automatically. Chat ended. Okay, sending now. Check it out. Just run superhot.exe. Okay, so I've got a readme. <laughs> look, look at that read me. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's just so, like, like, demo scene culture. I love it. It's great. Anyway, uh, so the actual game, let's go, let's go. Uh, you can also go to settings here, which I believe lets you configure things like the controls and stuff. Yeah. This is a really, really neat aesthetic, I've got to say. Uh, default should be fine, yeah. Now let's just go ahead. Boop. Yeah, like I said about the flashing. Um, so yeah, photosensitive people, stay safe, please. Oh, okay, so we're in the game now. Move with the left stick, aim with the right stick. I'm actually uh, moving the controller around just with, with my hands right now. Like, it's using a gyroscope. You don't have to use the right stick. Time moves only when you move. Use ZR to shoot. So you get the idea. Um, that's the whole idea of the game. It's a it's a shooter where time moves only when you do, which means you can carefully move around to avoid getting got by other stuff. By the uh, red people. It was a setup. You die in one hit as well, because you can just move to the side to dodge bullets and stuff like that, so, yeah. 
So, so far this is the same as I remember it being in the other versions of the game, except that you have a uh, motion control, which is kind of cool. See, I'm moving very slowly, and the bullets are also moving very slowly. So I can weave from side to side to scoop up that gun. Heck yeah. <laughs> you missed. Throw your gun. Press B to throw your weapon at an enemy. And then catch their gun out of the air, which is pretty cool. Yeah! Out of ammo. Oops, I got caught by someone. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you get the basic idea of the game. It's pretty cool. Come with us. How about no? Press ZR to stun enemies in melee range. Ah, I got got. <laughs> you can see the little uh, crosshair is sort of spinning as as you gain the ability to shoot again. It's very precise. Oh, I got shot from behind. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Boom. Super. 
Hot. Yeah. Hot. Super hot. I'm not Super sure this game is hot. well suited Super for like a gamepad and, and gyroscope hot. controls and stuff Super because hot. looking around Super does make time pass and you can't be quite as precise with that as you can as you can with a mouse and keyboard. Oop. Unauthorized access. They are the monolith. Incoming message. Press A to reply. What did you think? Interesting idea. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, though. I think I was in a factory, then an alley, and a subway. Lol, awesome. Everyone gets something different. It's crazy. That's one word for it. Some bad glitches at the end. Unauthorized something something and I got kicked out. Oh yeah, they updated the crack to fix that. Sending. Chat ended. New file seems to crash less. Get over it. Hold ZL to jump. Oops. Try to pick up the other gun, but I shot it instead. Yay! Took a few tries. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, I think you're getting the idea of the game already. Um, 
Like, there's not a whole lot to say about it, I guess. There isn't a button to reset the gyroscope either, like there is in Splatoon, which is a little uncomfortable. Unless I don't know what button it is. Which is possible. Having some trouble here. <laughs> There's so many of them. Being hit by, like, with anything kills me. I don't just get stunned like they do. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with here. Um, maybe if I punch that guy, grab that back. No, I got hit from behind. There's too many of them. Hang on, maybe I need to... You can temporarily turn them off by holding the minus button during gameplay. Alright. Minus button, that was the L button. Punch, grab the bat, step back. Uh, what am I doing wrong? 
Okay, turn, 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 turn. Punch. Grab the bat. Turn. Die again. Try punching this guy. Hang on, I have an idea. I can throw those bats at people. Maybe I want to get some range by doing that. Ah, well, I think that was working. Okay, there we go. Pulled it off. Yay! Excellent. Why am I in a bathroom? Bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's easier to play without the gyroscope controls just because time reliably freezes when you're not pressing any buttons. If you play it that way. This is a hard game. <laughs> Thank you. 
super hot super hot super Is that a sword? Why does that guy have a sword? We all have guns, what are you doing with a sword? It's a terrible idea. How on earth did that guy not get me? <laughs> I think what you have to do here is back up into the alleyway as quickly as possible. Look around the corner here so you dodge the truck. Yeah. I'm not sure what happens after that. Well, there's an enemy. Oh! Oh dear. One of them bottles. Yeah. Give me that gun. I think the motion control maybe would be more helpful now since I need to aim a bit more quickly with that kind of gun. There we go. Uh, 
Ah, I got bulleted. Yeah, that's more like it. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Woohoo! Okay, we got another glitch. We're still in this area. What's gonna happen? Unauthorized access. Incoming message, was had a reply. Look who's back. I've been trying to reach you for hours. You've been playing this whole time? I didn't feel like it was that long. I know. Felt the same way when I first got in. Couldn't stop. It's kind of random. No plot, no reason for anything. Just killing red guys. Oh, that's right. It seems that way at first. Something happens eventually? I don't want to spoil anything, but I guess it doesn't matter now. They added more levels, but the paths were protected. Seriously? That sucks. Yeah, super lame. I'll send anyway. Let me know if you figure out how to get in. Chat ended. New files, wood protected, sad face. Enter authorized password. Access denied. I don't know what I typed, I just pressed that L and that R. Access granted. Apparently I got it the second time. Okay. They cracked the system. some trouble. Yeah, the motion controls cause a bit of consternation, I think.
but it's fine to play without, so that's okay. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Are you with them? Determining breach location. We can see you. I want to play a stupid password. Something weird happened. I think I just saw myself in the game and it didn't look like my room, but somehow I knew it was. Like in a dream? I got in, but you don't want the password. The game is broken. It's been broken from the beginning. Come on. I was the one who told you about it. You owe me one. I didn't write that. Sounds like you're playing too much. For real? Why are you acting like this? I don't think either of us should be playing this thing. Uh-huh, whatever. I'm done with you. Chat ended. No message. Oh my goodness. I don't want to spoil too much of the plot here, so I might, like, stop here-ish. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get the idea of the game. Um, I think the motion control with the... Like, it doesn't really fit this type of shooter very well because of the way Superhot works. The fact that any type of movement, including looking around, causes time to advance. It causes problems. Um... Less than, which isn't less than ideal. Um, I don't know what these all do. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff there. Alright. Uh, I assume this was all of the original as well. Like, I haven't, I just hadn't really looked at all the options that the game gives you. Anyway, um, so that's, that's super hot. Um, it's perfectly playable on the Switch, I'd say, but you do want to turn off the motion controls in several areas. I think they are more of a hindrance than a help. Um, but playing with just the analogs is fine. It's very precise. Um, and you get more precise movement than you would with a mouse and keyboard because you can move, you know, you can walk slowly instead of at exactly one possible speed like you get with a keyboard. So uh, I think that's good. Um, as far as I can tell, the whole game's here. Like, they haven't left anything out or anything, so that's good. Uh, what happens if you quit? Um, shutting down. It quits and then it starts it back up straight away by the looks of things. Since this is the Switch and you don't normally quit games on the Switch, you just go back to home. Uh, I believe if you pick that on the normal version, it, like, on a computer, it actually does quit the game when you pick that, rather than just quit it and then restart it immediately. Anyway, uh, that's super hot. I would probably recommend playing it. It seems like it's a really cool game. This seems like a pretty cool version of it. If you want to play it on a console, um, this is a good way to do it. What would you do with so much time? Version 1.0.1. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a whole, like, elaborate plot here. This is about as far as I went, I think, in the other version, so I don't really know what to expect next either. But, um, I won't spoil it. I think I'll stop here. Um, but yeah, that's super hot. And, yeah, it plays really well with just the analog sticks. It, the, the motion control is better for some stuff, I think. It's a little more precise when you're trying to... Um, for example, with the, like, what was that, an AK-47 or whatever? The... The gun has multiple shots, like, in sequence. Um, if you're trying to spray across multiple enemies or whatever, I think that's easier with the motion on, but for the most part, you want the motion off. Thankfully, they make it really easy to toggle. You just hit minus, and that switches it on or off at any time, so... <sighs> and it looked like it was very configurable. You can see you've got these invert motion control options on the two axes, and you've got sensitivity... Yeah, on various other stuff in there. Uh, assume restart. Okay, so that's how you reset the story mode. 
Alright. Do you want to play the story from the beginning again? Uh, you can invert the y-axis on the right stick if you want to. I don't want to. I like the defaults. But you can if you want. <sighs> um, and yeah, so that's about all I've got to say about this game. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, bye! Uh, incidentally, this isn't actually out yet. This is a pre-order. Uh, I really want to play that. And you'll be seeing a first thoughts video when it's out, but it's not out just yet. I'm so excited, though. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye!